Hey everybody, Shin Nefsen here, your humble host as always, welcoming you to another Let's Play, another RPG Let's Play, and another Final Fantasy Let's Play. This time, it is Mystic Quest for the Super Nintendo. Not to be confused with Mystic Quest, the European version, which was Final Fantasy Adventure for the Game Boy. Um, this was a very simple, uh, basically dumbed-down kind of RPG. Uh, basically, the way Mystic Quest got created is that RPGs weren't doing very well over in the United States. The Japanese thought it was because we were a bunch of idiots, so they decided to make this version of the game with um, what they considered a very simple RPG. They basically called this the RPG for dumb Americans. So, um, I consider myself a pretty smart American, but I enjoy this game quite a bit. I grew up with it. I remember when it came out. Um, I played it at the same time a couple of my friends got it, so, you know, we'd spend a lot of time in school talking about it, and I gotta say I got nothing but positive memories of this game, even though it is pretty simple, but it's a hell of a lot of fun, so let's get started. I'm actually pretty excited. I haven't played this game in years, back when I had it actually played it on my Super Nintendo. Do, 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 my name is Shin... The hero's default name is Benjamin, and just know. We kind of have a cold opening here. We just kind of get thrust in. It's just called the Hill of Destiny. There's us, and there's an old man. Alright, let's go. Press the B button and jump across. B! And we gotta wait for that other side of the mountain to fall. Alright, what's up, old man? Look over there. That's the Focus Tower, once the heart of the world. An old prophecy says, The vile four will steal the power and divide the world behind four doors. At that time, the night will appear. The prophecy has now come true. Four monsters have locked the doors of the Focus Tower and escaped with the keys. They're draining the light from the four crystals of the earth, and the world is in chaos. The people are in desperate need of help. Shin, only you can save the crystals and the world. Alright, four seconds into the game, and we already have the fate of the world on our shoulders. Me? Yes, you, Shin. Only you could be the knight spoken of in the prophecy. Look out, it's a monster! Alright, this monster's actually... <laughs> we don't see this monster again for quite a while, because, um, yeah. It's actually quite a bit stronger than us, and this battle kind of comes down to chance. I have no healing items, no magic, so my options are to attack or defend. So let's attack. And if the monster gets a lucky crit, I'm screwed. Shing! Oh, critical hit, win. Now, sadly, because he died so fast, I wasn't able to explain one of the graphical features of the game, but we'll get there in our next fight. Seems I was right. At last, I found a true knight. But you said you were sure I was the one. Well, actually, it was, it was more of a guess. F f forget it. Just, just tell me where I can find the crystals. It's up to you to find them. This place is becoming dangerous. Follow me to the level forest. I gotta get out of here. Who is that guy anyway? No idea. How the music's coming through, it's incredibly quiet for some reason. Like I have my speakers on max and it's still really quiet. Let's go to the forest. And of course if the volume is too low, I'll turn that up for the next video. There you are. Oh, sorry, that's that's me talking. There you are. What do you think I should do first? Save the crystal of Earth. Straight into the point. I like that. Peace! Alright, as you can see, there's trees. But we don't have the proper weapon to cut them down. Also, quick side note, we see our H my HP down in the corner. It's uh, represented... Ooh, forgot. We can save anywhere. That's the save button. We can see I have magic. You see white, black wizard. We'll get into that later. 
and go into all kinds of stuff, but the important thing here is customize. You can do life indication, scale is what I got, or figure to do uh, a number. When I was younger, I always played through in the scale, but just for the sake of people watching, I know it's a lot easier to just look at a blatant number, so I'll go with that. And control, I can't do anything with because I don't have a companion. Message speed, I'll crank up one and go make it a little bit faster. Alright, let's talk to this bearded old guy. That boulder is blocking my way back to town. Would you shove it aside? Sure, I got this. Thank you. If you want to go through the forest, find Kaylee in Forrester and show her this. Received tree wither. As you can see, the forest is in an awesome shape. Here we have a brown chest. These chests contain mundane reusable items and will respawn when you enter and re can come back. So we found cure potions. And I gotta remember that's the save shortcut, not the menu button. We use a cure potion. Bam! Restores 10 HP. Hmm, I could get into... Eh, you know what? I'm just gonna go... Uh, actually, I don't have a choice. I can't jump over the trees. So yeah, I gotta go to town. I was gonna show off a fight, but I can't get to anybody yet. Let's enter Forest and find this Kaylee chick. That was a short walk. I'm Kaylee. There's a tree blocking the north exit of the level forest. I can chop down the tree, but monsters have taken over the forest and I can't get to it. I can help you with that. Come on, let's go. Don't you dare take Kaylee anywhere dangerous. Listen, Mom. Hey, that tree with her looks awful. How much the trees must be suffering. Okay, you win. Don't worry, Mom. Yay, we have our first companion. Generally, companions are quite a bit stronger than you when they join up. And we'll come back here. More cure potions. You see this shiny crystal ball? Yeah, nothing. I don't know. Wasn't really going anywhere with that. Well, there's stuff to do here before we go back to the forest. Strange trees are going in the level forest. Thank you. I have no time for your idle conversation, old man. I gotta hop back here and enter this house from the back door so I can open this. Now these fancy looking chests contain good stuff. In this case, the cure spell. So now, oh, okay. Uh, as you can, if you look down next to Kaylee's name, it says auto. You can hit the, what is that, the Y button and switch it to manual. Basically manual lets me control my partner in battle. Auto, they get to do what they want. They're actually pretty intelligent, they usually make good decisions, so leaving it to auto isn't horrible, but obviously I'll have it on manual for a good bit of the time. The crystal verse is to the north in the bone dungeon. And as you can see I can actually, you know, use my weapons and stuff outside of combat. That'll become very important. I've turned into an old man. Yeah, you've always been an old man. God, I really hope this music's coming through. I can barely hear it. But my mic's a lot stronger than my ears are. Let me cut this with my axe. What shot? We've got to reach the north exit. Combat! Alrighty, we can have anywhere between one and three enemies confronting us at a time. We've got two brownies and a slime here. Nothing too important. Now I have a cure spell. This kind of works on, like, the original Final Fantasy on NES, where we have spell charges. See, it says white magic left three. That means I can use three white magic spells before I have to either use a seed, which I don't have any, or rest at an inn. And we have black magic and wizard magic, but I have none of that yet, so let's just attack for now. And Kaylee, on the other hand, she has, um, life, which resurrects me if I die, which is good. But she has no black or wizard magic yet. So we'll just have her attack as well. Okay, Lee's Beast. I am not quite as strong. Now you see, I hit the elf and his head disappeared. Now he's got a little bandage on his head. That's one of the cool things about this game is that enemies kind of show damage. Um, the more they're injured, the weaker they'll look. The slime split, the brownies lose their hat and get bandaged. Other enemies will may lose limbs, they look like they're limping. Multi-headed enemies will lose a head or two. It's actually pretty darn interesting.
I'm just gonna do the necessary fights here. I'll, I'm gonna off-screen uh, like the more unnecessary battles. The way I might do it. Oh, well, now I'm just kind of thinking of this on the fly. But hey, jeez, ow! All right, I guess we'll use a spell here. You can single target or press down to target both characters. It won't be quite as strong, but at this point our hit points are so low that it shouldn't make much of a difference. I don't know how a slime attacks with stab, don't ask me. Man, these guys are kind of kicking my butt. Let's just heal just me. And since the target me, it heals far more. It did 13 when I cast it on both, and 26 when I cast it on just myself. And Shin leveled up. And as usual, that will raise our hit points and our stats. You see this red tree? It's the evil tree I was talking about. Chop! Oh my god, it's a guy! Surprise! Oh, what happened? He poisoned me. Just he just did the trees. Well, it looks like we let her mom down already. She got hurt. Alright, nothing to do here but attack normally and heal up as necessary. Look at that. Hit Kaylee for 49. Guy's a beast. Now, obviously, Kaylee is uh, the stronger attacker here. So I'll, I'll, I'll stand by for a little bit of healing. The thing with your teammates is that eventually you'll end up overshadowing them because they don't gain levels like you do. So even though they start oh, now I'm out. So even though they start off far stronger than you, actually Is that bugged in this version? Let me see. Yes it is. Okay, yes. Uh, the life spell, interestingly, I forgot about this because I never knew about it back when I actually played it on the SNES. The life spell is bugged and will actually full heal the person it gets cast on. Instead of, you know, oh crap. Instead of just being able to resurrect them. Yeah, that critical hit was pretty important. I should obviously be level 3 or 4, but I didn't want to do a whole bunch of uh, fights early on here. And life restores him to full. It'll give me a round for both of them to attack. As you can see, bosses go through three stages. He's uh, not doing so hot here. Eh, yeah, you can life spell yourself as long as you don't get hit again. All right. Nothing to heal her. So we'll just have to stick it through and pray. Alrighty, we win! Ugh. Kaylee, what happened? I'll be okay as soon as I take Elixir. That's in the Sand Temple! Don't know how you know that. Don't worry, I'll get it. Then take this axe with you. And we got the axe. Alrighty, and of course, swing the axe. We can switch back. There are actually four weapon types we get. So I'm going to save my game here real quick. Heal up. And I'm actually going to take the time to clear out this map of guys here. It's just slimes and brownies. I'm going to do that in between videos. Um, I'm going to do a lot of the grinding like this uh, off screen. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks for checking out the first part. I'll see you in part two when we head up to the Sand Temple and search for the elixir to cure Kaylee. Thanks for checking out the first part, and I'll see you in part two. Hopefully with slightly louder music.